Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install and play the new Classic Offensive mod. Well, new is relative. Um, the full release of Classic Offensive on Linux. All right. So, in order to get the game, you're obviously going to have to download it. Now, I'm not going to show how to do this. For rules and also to prevent the site from being taken down. Valve did want to shut down this mod and um, somebody leaked it. But in order to keep it that way, um, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I promise you if you spend more than a couple minutes, you'll find it. All right. So once you find it, you'll get a classic offensive dot zip. <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is right click it. You want to, and whatever way you extract your files on Linux, you're going to want to extract it. You're going to get a classic offensive folder. It does, the, contrary to other YouTube tutorials, it does not matter where you put this. Everything you need to play this game is in this folder. As far as I know. Next, you're going to want to, and I'm just going to delete it for the sake of the tutorial. Go to the bottom left corner of your Steam and click add an on Steam game. Then you're gonna get this pop-up, just click browse. And then we're gonna go to that game folder with Classic Offensive and just click on csgo.exe. Boom, add select the program. All right, here it is. It's just gonna be called csgo.exe. I'll show you guys in a minute how to make it look nice. Really what matters first is getting everything set up right in this section. So. The installation of the leak recommends this shortcut um, commands. I don't know if it's necessary or not. I played it without, I played it with. It's up to you. But I am going to leave it in the description. In the target section, after the quotes, you're going to paste the string of commands. It's going to do game, CSCO, CS, CSGO, dash D, language English, max download file size, 200 megabytes. I'm not sure this is required or not. It's up to you. I would say try it without. If it works, great. If not, then add it afterwards. You do that in the target section. Then go to compatibility. And even though CS is a Linux game, Classic Offensive is not. It is only an EXE. But what's cool is that VAC doesn't apply here. So you're going to click on Force Steam Compatibility and you're going to pick any version of Proton that's recent. I, rec I would recommend Proton 9. 10 or experimental and if you have GE Proton even better I'm gonna use GE Proton 10-4 I've heard people use Proton experimental it works just whatever works for you uh, I'm gonna do that and that should be it um, then you just click play and you can actually see it starts playing Counter-Strike 2 so I think a requirement may be to install CS2 so that might be necessary as you see we're in so in order to join an online game, all I went, I saw this website, gs4u.net. Don't know if it's good or not, but it looks like it has classic offensive servers. I'm just going to pick the NA one, the war room. All right, I'm going to open the console, connect, paste, and we're in. This is an online game. I have 170 ping. So yeah, you can join online games. I mean, there's bots in it in this one, obviously, but here we are. You're playing the game. It's that simple. Something I forgot to record is I'm tired is how to customize the the look of your custom shortcut so this applies to any game uh, but obviously we're gonna first go to properties here and we're gonna rename this to classic offensive all right boom then we're gonna go here on steamgriddb.com classic offensive and this works for a lot of games that aren't even steam boom class classic offensive it's right here then you can just pick whatever things you want. So first, um, I personally think uh, this first one looks uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna download this. I have a Steam Grid DB folder. I'm just gonna name this Classic One. Then I'm gonna go to Heroes. Um, I like this one. Then I'm gonna call this one Classic Two. I'm gonna get the logo. I was looking at the resolution with a similar one, so this one looks like it's the highest res. But download, and always make sure to click the download button first, so it's the full res image. I'll do classic three. Lastly, let's do the icon, this one right here. All right. So first of all, 
we're gonna go to the home page, scroll all the way down till we find our classic offensive. Here we go. Manage, set custom artwork, browse to where you saved. And then we're gonna look at all images and then we're gonna type in classic. Classic one, boom. Click on classic, set custom logo. Same thing, we're gonna do all images. Classic, and I believe is classic three. Boom. Set custom background. You're just gonna rinse and repeat. Classic two. All right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust local position. And then we can do it like that. Um, I feel like Steam always lacked the feature of putting it to the left side directly, but whatever. So boom, classic two. And then what we're gonna do is properties. Uh, we're gonna go to this button right here, Steam Grid DB again. And then lastly, classic dot icon. So for some reason, the uh, icon isn't working. I bet you can figure that out on your own. They do have icon files. I don't know why it's not registering, uh, but now, you have a classic offensive, uh, you have it in your favorites and it has its own art, its own work. Scroll all the way down. As you see, classic offensive has its own little background art. You can do whatever you want. But yeah, that was my quick uh, classic offensive on Linux tutorial. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Have a good morning, have a good evening, have a good night. Later.